Good morning, afternoon, evening, etc. Whenever you see everybody, and welcome back to more Hades. Hair has been put up, see how long that holds. Boy is just awoken from, you know, an eternal slumber. Don't at me, it's 2 p.m. and I have a day off. I can do this. <laughs> I've also lost control of the aspects of my life, but that's also a different piece altogether. Hades, hey, as usual, if you're under the age of just, you know, too young, probably, you know, something under the double digits that starts with teen. Don't watch it, I say bad words and other things. Skip it if you don't want to see the lore on the uh, early parts here, and watch on a faster speed if you just want to, you know, get through a little bit quicker. But we're going fast. We've been going very fast lately. It's finally returned. Orpheus has uh, given us some wonderful tunes right here. Hmm? Dude, no one wants to talk to me? Sorry, that's not true. All right, I'll let the game take over here, and then we'll get into the dialogue you for the mirror back there, with me, man. not the characters. Let's get a better look at things out in the Great Hall every now and then. Of course, sir. Don't mention it. You're really stuck having to guard this corridor most of the time, huh? Well, certainly it's an important corridor. Think of it. If just any shade could pass through either of those doors back there, your father's barely keeping it together as it is. Well, this should help you keep an eye on him. It's locked. One day we'll figure out what this is all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be when the game's actually done. I get it. Dude, the lungs on that boy. I think I've said the exact same words before, but dang. Is this is a good singer. Uh, Painting of Asphodel. No. We were just saving up for like the really big stuff here. And of course, uh, get the Nave King freed. Hello, Mr. Chef. Nice, we got a triple. Just a bunch of keys, dude. Bunch of keys. Bunch of garbage. Said the fair market value word again. Brain instantly twitched. Dang, I really- I- I listen to a lot of, uh, movie and music soundtracks in my spare time because it's just like a thing that my brain's like, Hey, listen to something cool, but nothing with like... You know, too much mainstream attention, I suppose, even though movies are exactly that. This is a game soundtrack I haven't looked into yet. It's pretty good. You have fulfilled already many prophecies envisioned by my daughter's child. Although perhaps inevitable, I find it impressive nonetheless. Thank you, Nix. Though they're just minor prophecies, right? The kind that won't necessarily come to pass unless spelled out and coupled with a decent reward to make it worth my while. Not even the fates are above greasing the wheels of progress, then. Mm-hmm. The fates have perfect knowledge of exactly what is necessary for the future they have woven to someday come to pass. We each are instrumental to their ultimate design. Some more than others, it would seem, of course. Deep. Others. It's always those, it's one of those like big media conversation pieces where it's like time, space, and fate, or like destiny. And all of those are intertwined in some way. Space maybe not so much, but you can sort of mix it together. Is that kind of what Interstellar is about? Which is what I was going to talk about here, because uh... That's one of the things that came up in my YouTube recommendations, is like, hey, here's a... Uh, what was the name of it? Hang on. I really enjoy it and then I instantly forget it. Uh, I have way too many windows open. Uh, it's this one. And I closed it out, of course. Um, oh yeah, it was Interstellar's um, No Time for Caution, which I haven't seen the movie, but I understand. the When No Time for Caution comes on, it's a pretty, like, you know, if we're going to just stick with the standard vernacular use, it's a pretty pog moment is what I hear. Uh, definitely need to get around to watching that movie. That's my friend. Uh, oh, it's Max. God's Chosen. Chances of boons, palms, and hammers. This could be interesting. Palm stacking. What was this removing? The chance of getting epic quality? You know what, I'm gonna give it a shot, because uh, epic quality showing up or not is one thing. As long as it's rare at the very least, we're okay. Epic quality's not gonna make it or break it, but just getting more boons and less purple drinks probably gonna make me a lot happier. Yeah, Interstellar's just, um, it, it's got a soundtrack that apparently is just one of the best, and if not, just... <gasps> just practice. We're getting there. What? Now I'm playing the Interstellar soundtrack. Oh. All right, I think that's all we're getting. These are unliftable. Is everything else really just cosmetic? Anyway, Interstellar, I, I've been sidetracked already by like, I was surprised by this, really was. Interstellar, it's probably moving on like to the two watch list. I hear it's three hours long though. Um, And some of the Rotten Tomato reviews says like, hey, you know, it's a great, 
two hour movie packed in a three hour piece. It's like, ooh. <laughs> it's not like, you know, we're pressed for time if you're watching a movie to begin with. That's never been one of my, like, gripes with long movies. It's like, I could have been doing something better with my time. It's like, you opted in to watch this movie. Like, I don't know why you're complaining. It's like, well, they could have just condensed it down. It's like, well, you know, you could have just thought about that before you saw it. Like, they don't hide how long the movie is. I'm just trying to save myself from getting any spoilers. That's a that's a bad excuse, all right? You can, you know, see how long a runtime is without spoiling yourself. Don't add me. All right, are we cranking any of this? We cranked it once, but it's this is all garbage. Uh, it is going to be shield, though. Shield's going to be a nice and easy run for us, ideally. Damage reduction is just good. It's just straight up good. You take less damage. What's not to like? Uh, standard boon, of course, or keepsake, pierce butterfly. And we're going to continue to crack, uh, crack or crank this. Because one day we'll use it. We're still, you know, one day we'll remember to use any of these to a greater extent than we already do. Skelly's truly just, like, the best overall still. His does a lot more damage, though. Alright. Alright, yeah, we're gonna keep with the companion baddie, just because I have five uses and... The, the logic there isn't explained itself very well because I only use it like maybe once in the run, so it is whatever. Right. Heat level 7. Let's get into it. I pretty, began, pretty much began talking about the uh, big piece I wanted to is uh, other, ting, uh, other things, other things, other types of media. Oh, Zeus, once again, we must give you a chance. Whatever you say, sir. Oh, there it is. Once again, he's giving us the electric shot. It's not really what I want to be putting my money into, I'll be honest. But it's the biggest color there. But yeah, other types of media, movies, TV shows, outside of Twitch streams. I'm trying to diversify my uh, viewing experience, but like, it's really hard to. Like, before I even started recording this, I just sat down and watched the stream for like 30 minutes. I'm like, I should do something with my time. Streams are supposed to be the idle, like, hey, I'm sort of exhausted from work and or don't really want to do too much myself types of media to consume. And there's nothing wrong with, like, doing it otherwise, right? Just, uh, it's, it's supposed to be the idle thing, and this is my vacation, so to speak, I guess, if we want to pivot it like that. To do a little bit more with my time. Um, and what is that gonna amount to? Well, I had a point last night where I'm like, what do I do with my life? It's like, oh, you play video games, video games, video games, gotta work, gotta work, gotta work, do your standard adult stuff. It's like, ah, maybe we should... Thank you, Chaos. Maybe we should pivot and do something else. So, you know, there's still some, like, tools I'm learning in the background, like, uh, various, like, editing programs, so that's something to keep up with. But I do want to get into some, uh, different type of games, because outside of what you're seeing right here in Minecraft and one game called Armello I play with my friends, which I don't know if I hate or not. 30% <laughs> more damage, more money? Why not? Um, really don't do a lot with my day-to-day -day life, and a lot of it really is spent sleeping when I'm able to force myself in there. Which brings us to another point, and I'm not really giving this conversation a good flow. Um, pretty much what I'm saying is there's a game called Monster Train, and I know, I just talk about like, hey, what do you do with your live video games? Well, we're gonna play another video game, potentially. It's called Monster Train. Perhaps, mayhaps, you have heard of it. Um, apparently it's just latest buyer on steroids, is the shorthand I've gotten from it. But I know it's a card game. That alone already had me, uh, interested. Interest has been peaked effectively. Um... Uh, so yeah, I mean, I guess this whole long-winded bit was about to be, or is about me saying, hey, I may play another card game in the coming days. Me. I've said this for a lot of things. I remember I was going to play Kenshi on my stream, and I never did the stream for that when I sort of burned out on Kenshi already. Even though, like, my Nintendo Nightmare Squad is still just sitting there happily chopping away at the earth to make bricks to make more walls that we sell for profit. There's still a lot of things up in the air. Ooh. Larger dash strike area. I do like that. Let's do a bull rush increase. That actually seems like it's something we could use on the current run. Any of these Q abilities, half the time, unless the uh, aspect gives me something that works well for it. Oh god. I love this early game uh, cast. It's still not good later on, but it's, it's it does what it needs to do early on. All right, wall bang, wall bang, wall bang, wall bang. Yeah. Oh, come on, dude. That wasn't even the path. How did that even happen? I dis a friggin' agree. Yeah, Monster Train. Probably on the horizon. <laughs> and I'm not gonna say like that is like a promise, it's just like, it's something I'm definitely considering. It's a definitely really weird. Um, but taking the same like grain of salt as uh, streams, which are also supposed to be happening, but... Yeah. Well, one day, we'll pivot back to that. I do miss streaming. 
I've talked about that before. It's just a, it's a big motivation piece, and I, the other half is, like, I am watching a lot of streams that are very entertaining and really nice to just relax to after a day of work compared to, like, doing my own piece, so just, you know, playing Minecraft on the side. There's nothing wrong with that. Special strikes foes with lightning. Lightning effects makes foes jolted. That's good. If we're going to go down this Zeus path, we may as well get more of those. I haven't seen what his legendary or a lot of his synergies could be, so maybe I'm missing out on this guy. Maybe I've been underestimating him for too, too long. What's the latest, Boldy? Had any good tumbles down that hill of late? Nice. Me and Boldy. Hope everything's been well enough of late. Dang, dude, you sound like one of my coworkers. I hope you're doing well too, brother. Thanks for the Skrilla. Certainly, Highness. That's bomb dually. The hair is starting to fall. Forgive me. If you hear shuffling in the background, we have to adjust. All right. Keeping that two percent dream alive. I guess that's all like the immediate housekeeping and like other sort of talking points I have. I really haven't been doing a lot of anything. Truly, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft. I've been pretty proud about it. I think I've mentioned it before, but I've been messing with a mod in it called the Chisel and Bits, and it sounds very deja vu, but we'll say it again if I have already said it. That's a very fantastic mod. You can chisel away at every little block to make the perfect pixel art, and in this case, me just making meme pixel art of my friends. Also entertaining. Nice, nice little wall slam. I debated if I should like stream my Minecraft playthroughs, but or playthrough, like it's like some sort of let's play or whatever. It's really just me playing a um, really hard mod pack or air quote hard mod pack. They say. I mean, it's just a it's just a spin on like progression, which gives me a sense of like anything in Minecraft. Since normally when you play Minecraft, the end goal is supposed to be like to beat a dragon or something. I don't know. I've never done that. I played like a couple thousand hours of Minecraft in my life. I don't think I've ever fought the dragon and been like, yes, I've done it. I have beaten Minecraft. It's like beating WoW. It's kind of weird, right? Even though this actually has an end game. But with this mod pack, at least it'll give me a sense of progression. A bunch of worlds to go through, some tech trees to unlock. It's just, it's just watching a number increase at the end of the day, which is A-OK -okay in my book. Because that's what we do, you know, if we're going to get deep and philosophical, that's what we do on the daily life whenever we are working, right? We're just watching a number increase. We're not going for a speedrun, by the way. Me uh, picking this chest over progression has already indicated that it's not going to be a speed run. If we still get a very fast time, that's still nice. And we just know it could have been uh, even faster had we not gone for this, but uh, the intent on this one is not to go for ultra speed. Just to have a good time and you freaking hit me at the end there, how dare you. The true, true speed runs. Oh, we got a nectar out of it, nice. The true, true speed runs will definitely come into play once we actually have everything unlocked and we have nothing else to do outside of go fast as you can. Alright, the 2% is still intact. Nice, very crisp, very clean. Athena, what do you got? Do not fear your father's cruel legions, cousin. Their lives are long since forfeit, and they cannot stand against one of your birthright. Mm-hmm. Dash deflect, I do enjoy that. Damage resistance as a whole, gonna enjoy that a little bit more right now. And there's the palm we've been looking for. Don't apply that to my damage reduction, I will cry. You get, you get nothing but damage reduction stats, you definitely know, like, any chance of going fast has been out the drain. Gives you more permission to face tank, and I think you, you would pivot to, um... Not the acorn in that case, I think you would pivot away from acorn if you had that kind of run going. You'd go for the sword that gives you damage and vulnerability, I believe. Thank you for getting dusted, my friend. Wham, bam, kablooey, kablow, flap. Yeah. Delicious. And we'll up the cast. Good enough for now. Thank Ooh, palm, please, and fish. Nice. To see yeah, that, right? overall, so far it means the first day of my extra days off that I'm having. It's just a chill day. I probably wanted to wake up early today, but going to bed at like 3 a.m. last night probably sealed the deal that that was not going to be the case. And again, I wasn't doing anything progressive, progressive or productive. It was literally just... Watch the stream and play in Minecraft. I, I, I live a simple life, all right? I live a simple life. I'm still waiting for other things to open back up, like the gym, which I definitely need to get back to and absolutely want to because that'll give me a great health benefit. Want to go back to the gym? Wait a minute. Do I even have anything that gives me jolted right now? I don't think I do, so that was probably a waste. If we find one more opportunity to get a zoo spoon, we will uh, pick it up. I'm back, ladies. But uh, definitely want to get back to the gym. It's a mix of, like, you know... More motivated now that uh, I wasn't going to the gym that much towards the tail end of when COVID really popped off. Also, a result of like being at home gives me... Even though you don't walk a lot with a desk job, 
having a desk job allows you to do some level of physical activity in like just the slightest bit of walking. You do a hell of a lot less when you're uh, just sitting at home all day. <laughs> and the, the option and like motivation to do it yourself is still there, of course, but it's like, I'd rather just have the opportunity to go to the gym and say, this is what I've done. So even though I have missed it as of late, or before everything really uh, closed up, it's like a, you know, Oh, stop with the freaking everything right now. One, two, three. You don't know what you like and what you have until it's gone, pretty much. And that's pretty much the gym and, like, me hanging out with one of my best friends who I haven't seen in a while. Which we talked about. I'm like, we, we can hang out. Just don't know what's stopping us outside of, like, we're playing... We're playing things extra carefully here. Okay, one, two, three... Two... It's weird, I'm playing this like around my cast, which are not really meant to be boss killers. Alright, just die, die. Oh, Is that a sign of things to come? I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, I'm waiting for the gym to open back up. I'm waiting for a lot of things to open back up, really. And also waiting for myself to take the onus and like, you know, schedule a hair appointment with my stylist. That's right, I have a stylist. It's a family friend. I've talked about it before. That and an oil change. Those are the two big adult things I need to do, and I guess, you know, using this eye doctor subscription to get my glasses. There's a lot of things I should be doing, right? Bad adult. I uh, don't want to spend anything on the yarn. I just want to keep letting that money stack over. Next floor, entering uh, Elysium? No, Asphodel. Entering Asphodel here. Apologies. Scoop the mic with my headset. Alright, any gold? Now we're getting somewhere. Any chaos? Anything at all, no? Understood. Have a nice day. I'm seeing more palms, though. I mean, we see maybe like one extra palm as a regard, uh, result of the 10% boost on that boon we got. Or the mirror upgrade. That's good. Probably not going to make too much of a difference in the grand scheme. If we see at least like maybe two to three more palms on a run, I feel like that's a... Uh, that's a cause to say it's, it's working out. And I recognize you could do it faster. We're just going to slowly like, you know, beat him to death there. Batter him up. Alright, and we do have a little bit of a jolted effect going on there. Those two died in the background without me doing anything extra, so I was wrong. We do have something. And you know what? Uh, let's take the actual flat increase here. I'm grateful for this. Well, spawn building. Being said, we, we got more palms, boons, and hammers, but I'm still seeing a lot of these freaking gems, dude. Oh, Jesus, get me out of there. What else? Okay, I was just gonna say, everyone's gonna die eventually. I'm just gonna hold still so I can get my 2% increase and call it a day. I like that interest. Wow, really? This is all you're offering me is just cosmetic, cosmetic, cosmetic. I think the plus 5 on the HP, but come on, dude. Throw me a boon. I have like... I have one boon, I think. I have two boons, actually. No dunk. There we go, there we go, there we go, there you go. Anyone see where my uh, third cast went, by the way? It's missing and I, I wish he would come home. For real, where, where's my third cast? Alright. I'm feeling a little bullied by the game here. It's going slower than I like. My cast are disappearing from me. Please, I'm just trying to hold on to my 2% increases because that's, I think, all I'm going to get on this run right now for assistance is the 2%. I mean, we're making extra money per room, which is great. Thank you, Zeus. Never thought I'd say that. But, um, so we actually start getting some boon rooms and getting something that helps us out. We're, we're going to be going at the same pace we've been going at right now, which is a little sluggish. I'm looking at the timer. We're, like, at 20 minutes right now. I don't know if that's normal or not. I don't... Despite me, like, mentioning the timer a lot as of late and, like, you know, talking about speedruns, I really don't glare at the timer much. The only thing I really glare over at my OBS for is to make sure I press record. <laughs> that is probably the only, like, mission-critical thing I look at OBS for these days. Alright, good Dustin, good Dustin. One more.
No dunk. Die. Alright, we didn't hear the bedoying. There it is. Alright, Zeus. One more jolt option, please. Your dash causes lightning bolts to strike foes for near- that's just so garbage. After you're struck, revenge lightning- okay, fine. We'll take the thunder dash and it's something we can actually sell later. If we need to. Don't know if that really progresses down like the tech tree for Zeus, but whatever. It's purple. Like 17 damage? That ain't a lot. Two and three. Quite nice, quite nice. Like I'm watching it. I'm watching the dash damage. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing anything that impresses me for something that's a, a purple quality. All right, deflect resistance from traps after you briefly uh, take damage. If you take damage, damage nearby foes and deflect. It's not bad. I just don't like settling for white quality boons. The deflect on the auto attacks is already outstanding. Like don't don't let that gameplay be a, a reason to you know excuse good boons because they're not of a different quality or not. Deflect on a fast attack like a shield is always going to be good. Doesn't matter if it's doing 2 damage, doesn't matter if it's doing negative 60 damage, doesn't matter if it's adding 300 damage, regardless, I mean the last one there. Probably better than the other example I'm putting out there. Regardless, just it's it's designed to be good. That's a designed good ability. You should just take it. Don't be like me. Oh, alright, you did it. You did it, you got me. Congrats. Cause like, I can explain the- oh my Jesus Christ, what was that? Alright. Running into a few situations here. I'm, I'm taking a lot of damage on a regular bomb chucker boy. Historically has not been the case. Oh my, well. What I was gonna say is, uh, you know, I'm sitting here talking about taking quality boons to actually do something, and I'm hesitant to take up boons that are like, hey, if you take damage, X happens, because it means I'm taking damage, so I'm clearly missing out on my 2%. Why would I take something that's never gonna be in use if I'm never intending to get hit? Reality is, you're probably gonna get hit. Hey, Hermes. Could use... Just a dash? Or, like, the ability to cast quicker? There we go. The punch quicker is not going to do much because we don't have anything attached to our punch. 20% faster uh, cast. It'll do a little. It's going to take time for these things to come back out, but we can just rapid fire these things. This is me using the uh, Zeus dash lightning to a great effect right now. As you can see. Hey, you're not supposed to be using that attack once I have you in the shield phase, my friend. Oh, wait. What happened to my life? I'm down to 50? Um, what? Did you just explode? Did you just explode and do a bunch of damage to me? No, no. Alright, I'm in trouble. I have 40 life on this run. Something's amiss. Like, the garbage monsters are spawning too. What's going on? Okay. Little radio silence. I'm trying to suss out what's happening here. <laughs> hey, no. All of your friends are dead. You should have your shield off. You know whose fault this is? It's not my fault. This is Zeus's fault. Why is Boon so bad? <laughs> Pivot to the normal excuse. Oh my god. 
it's amazing how quickly this game can like uh the feeling can change where i'm like constantly steamrolling and i feel great like i'm one of the greatest uh, hades players that ever lived to what the hell happened <laughs> Why- why is everything, uh, you know, nearly about to kill me on Asphodel of all places? We haven't had a struggle like that in, like, three months. Four months. When I bought the game, even. What's going on? Oh, I've only got 66 life as well. Hey, nope. Okay. Uh, we'll take a- foes have a chance to drop something. That'll help us out a little bit. Probably should have pivoted off the butterfly here if we're already struggling. This is with 2% increases, by the way. The damage has been increased by 2% consistently for the first two floors. And we're, uh, we're struggling to dust Hydras, of all people. Palms, please? No palms? Okay, you're forcing HP on me? That's not a bad thing. Also, I just missed some money, but whatever. Not a bad thing. We could use more HP. Our base HP is only sitting at 120 right now. Or, I guess, total HP is not really base. That may be part of the reason why HP is so low. We didn't have a lot to begin with, right? Logical, logical answer right there. Alright, good use of the uh, arrow traps there. Alright, thank you, 2%, HP up, what do you got? I don't think we need to spend any more of our money on that, and I will take a hammer upgrade. I'm not sure what's gonna help out here, but literally anything, something up my damage. Alright, we can slow roll. I know what it's like to slow roll on Elysium. I've been there before. Okay. Boomerang a bit, grab this, yeet it. Boomerang him, get in there, dust himself, excellent. Alright, good play. Special strikes more, the attacks twice, but does not foe does not knock foes away. Bull rush deals more damage to armor. That'll probably help out later on. We are using bull rush a little more frequently on this one. All right, and that's going to be their ticket right here. The two for one. Athena can stay on the side. We need Zeus to actually prove his worth right now. Time to pick sides. Something, anything. <laughs> uh, their attacks emit chain lightning. It's it's of a horrible quality. It's such a really bad quality. This it just concerns me for the the overall late game of the run. I'm gonna take this special. It's another way for me to proc the uh, the jolted effect, which does have a little bit more damage packed on it now. That's the path we're going down. I'll take I'll take a Demeter on this run. A Demeter to increase my well, anything, uh, my ability to slow the enemy down. That'll be good. Oh, you and your freaking shieldy girl. Oh, I didn't even see that guy off the screen. Okay, good. Wall bang him. Didn't even see that rapid jab coming out. There's just 13 life in the toilet. It's fine. Hey, any of these guys want to drop some HP like I've been uh, moderately promised? Hey, hey, hey! No! Oh, what is happening? What is happening on this one? You wouldn't do this to a boy on his vacation, would you? You wouldn't beat me to death on my own vacation in my video game. Stop. <laughs> I need something. Okay. I turned it down before. I want it now. Thank you for the deflect punch. It's good. Thank you for the healing. Also good. And there's Demeter, which I actually was just talking about, and now I, I grab something else that may not be of as much assistance. It's gonna be a slow roll. Because I'm not doing a lot of damage to this creature. No! Oh, it's all falling apart.
The stupid butterflies, dude, I can't see. Just kill the boss. Okay, she's dead. Oh. Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm back. Apologies for the radio silence there. You saw how things were going. It's just a horrendous time altogether. <laughs> I don't care about Corey. This mountaintop wandered the earth in search. Or not, of course. It was a necessary journey, I suppose. May yours fare better. Don't tell her the truth. We're already having a hard time as is. Whenever you cast, inflict nearby enemy foes with chill. Or, damage aid. Inflict chill on everybody. It's good vortex damage. It's good damage over time, really. Well, you have no uh, blood in you. No bloodstone. Yeah, we'll do that one. That one's gonna help us a little bit more. That's flat damage increase. We need that. Flat damage increase, flat tank percent stats increase. Just increase all around. It's not flat either, it's percentage. Don't, don't at me. A little bit of a flustered brain going on here. Alright. More HP. Fine. That room's an outlier. As long as you don't have to deal with the uh, Crimson Butterflies on the Hades fight, we'll be okay. But man, is it not taking me a minute to clear through some of these guys. Good use of the arrows. Ooh! Shouldn't have to, have to be this dialed on a, a Hades run. Chaos Gates? No, I don't think so. Maybe I'm underestimating the Chaos Gates on this run. Maybe that would have been my salvation. I'm sticking to it, though. Even if I, if I lose this run, let it be known. I went for the Zeus Boons. Willingly. I'm actually concerned he's going to completely slaughter me here. Alright, just disregard. Thanatos actually still sucks. Like, his ability to fight sucks. Like him as a character. Him giving me more HP here is gonna be pretty nice. Nobody hit me. I have 2% on the line here. Also, Thanatos, can you help out? You've gotten like one kill. You have done literally nothing. Like this goober is about to... Goober is about to spawn behind you here and you didn't do anything. You just stood there and watched. Pivot. Ooh. It's the actual last one I need. High voltage. Your lightning bolt effects deal damage in a large area. Maybe that's what I'm needing, right? This is actually good, but we're, we're doing the uh, the scroll unlock. Got more of them than I did, huh? it's playing on hard mode. That's okay. A thousand gold already. Quite nice. We're doing this to... Uh, I mean, I was hoping it would just be HP, and I was actually just spam clicking on it. We're doing this to see how our lightning bolt effects actually are now. Hmm... I... I'll be honest, I can't tell the difference, but it looks like it did more. Dust them. Take that money. If you want to give me a palm in the addition to that, that'd be great. Or a nectar. I know palms don't come from this nectar. Okay. We're tangy. We got a lot of HP. Let that be known. Uh, health is not a issue on this run. If it was, I think we'd already actually be dead. We would have lost, uh, maybe a life or two to the Hydra.
risky wind up. Good. Cured himself. Cool. <laughs> the arrow came out of nowhere, and by came out of nowhere, I mean it actually was completely in sight the entire time. Oh, come on. That was the last guy, too, wasn't it? Son of a bitch. I was doing so well dodging everything, too. Hmm. Oh. That's what you like to see towards your end game here. Yeah, keep the healing coming. I could use it. You love getting to your uh, end game of Elysium, and you have a skull level purple drink or a skull level gem offering. They're both quite good, let me tell you. Ouch. Big chunk of Ruski of damage. Alright, face the facts. I'm sitting here still trying to play like I'm uh, bursting through these guys as quick as I normally do. That's not the case on this run. That's never going to be the case on this run right now. That's fine. You just got to take it slow. Section off one dude, destroy him, rinse, lather, repeat, alright? Don't you hit me with that spear. No, Brittany! Brittany, put down the spear! Don't you think about it. Okay. For some reason, I thought I had the 2% bonus on that one. I'm trying to pet myself up. Well, we're at the end. Run is in a questionable spot. Very questionable spot. We're still going for palms, though. We're still going for palms. That's what we paid for. We want the palms. Delicious. Uh, cast does more damage. Even if it's a little bit more, it's doing more damage. Let's remember to say hi to our fan on this one, alright? That's what I've been missing to do. That's what I missed on the last few runs as well. You'll see. You'll see. Alright. And if it's a slow roll, it's a slow roll, alright? I say that as I, like, just face tank a bunch of damage. Oh, you know what? I'm struggling on this run, and I'm sitting here complaining about all the things that I wish I had, and I actually had some damage in my pocket this entire time that I have once again, oh, forgotten. Hey. Just took like 50 damage from one of these attacks. Can we not? Where's the freaking jump spam right now, dude? Diamond Tar. Does this not count as attack? You can see his lightning effect is still on him right there. I was hoping that would count as an attack, for the sake of my jolted damage. You know what? This is how we do it. Let him kill himself. Every time he attacks, just apply one of those lightning debuffs, let him do it for you. Let him do the work for you. There you go. I'm not sure what counts as an attack for him. That apparently was the exact case. Look, there's my fan. This little guy in red. You can see the little banner there. And this is a good Olympian aid call, because it doesn't do anything to me. Okay, he's debuffed. Watch him attack. Load him up. Ooh! Alright, we figured out our strategy towards the end at least. Let them let them hurt themselves, right? <laughs> it's not really it's not really the option you want to hear or see for speed, I suppose, but uh, you know. If that's what it takes, that's what it takes. We apply one cast, let them attack, apply another cast. Let him attack, rinse and repeat. We'll do that three times, get three procs, and then we'll go in for a few punches. Alright. So for this one... Um,
I don't know for this one. <laughs> 4% damage all 30% life or lower, that seems reasonable. Hang on. Life total is 200. Basic math. 50%, 110. So at 50-ish 50, 50 HP? Or you just, you know, whip out a calculator. Like the one you have in your background here. Uh, boop. Go do do do. Times 30. 66. If we get low enough, that will be nice. That's just the thing is, we'll be low. <laughs> that scares me. What about 1.5 seconds of damage and vulnerability? It's a 40% damage increase. Uh, let's do something that actually helps us. Distant foes, maybe. So the casts. Let's do sword. We do acorn a lot, let's do sword this time around. Um, yeah, slain foes dropping some HP. We are still a little bit low on that front. I can do this. Biggest regret on this run right now is grabbing the freaking dash lightning bolt for Zeus. For freaking purple level quality boon. Doesn't do anything. It does 17 damage and applies the debuff. Like, that's great. The debuff gets applied, but everyone else does something better. And if I'm not mistaken, um, what's her name? Not Ares. Aphrodite does something similar where her thing is just to apply the debuff, and I feel like it does, like, some amount of damage better. Alright. Like, yup. And we got Zeus, we got Artemis, and we got Palms. Lightning bounces more times before expiring. Your lightning bolt has a chance to strike twice. Let's go for that. Is my hair sticking up? And we'll do this, because we'll get Artemis later, it's okay. Uh, jolted effects, even more. Let's look at that. 10 damage increase, don't at me. Uh, better chance for the lightning bolt to strike twice. I'm gonna do that instead. And we'll come back for the rest. Keep stacking Zeus. You keep stacking Zeus. So we'll not get on some of the trash monsters because we don't want to let them attack us. On Hades, he's always going to be attacking, so these uh, effects should be proccing pretty quickly. Nice, nice. Keep it running. It's not send it territory. You know, there's a reason why we don't say it unless it's true. We're not in send it territory. We're we're pretty far off from it. But so far, this is this is working out pretty well. I'm not seeing a single enemy drop HP for me, even though I bought that uh, piece from Charon. You just want to keep spamming your poison? By all means. Cool. Grab that spawn dually, let's go. I was hoping it would be the end. I would have taken it too. Here's what we do. You do the hit and run. Just apply, run. Apply and run. Let them dust themselves. Just get me around the corner, please. I saw that money. Don't mind if I do. Good. You get me with the poison. Good on you. You're dead. Ooh. For me. All right, there was one more Zeus spoon. Oh! All of your lightning effects create an additional burst. It was a long time payout here, but we got it, and the prophecy has been fulfilled. Something I can use. Um, healing, please. Thank you. And one extra cast probably wouldn't hurt. I'm just gonna be real with you. It's pretty good. Hang on, I didn't actually read that that well. Underdash, everybody's favorite. Where is it? All your landing effects create an additional burst. Okay, no, that's that's pretty good. That's uh, pretty good. Should be useful. 
And then you offer me a true shot. Mm. Something I can use. In some cases, that may have been the right choice, but we've already gone this far into the Zeus well. Leave it to me to like throw away the one big thing that's uh helping keep that application together. You know what I'm saying? Because if we throw that away, then uh, our options for it are going to be our dash. And uh, that does not seem very good. It seems like a bad use of our time. There we go. We oink that. Are we in sanded territory? No, I think we're, we're getting closer to sending it. Like, we've written a letter. We need to go buy some stamps first. Like, you can't mail a letter without stamps, you know? It's just the way it is. Unless you pay for, like, a UPS envelope, priority overnight, or whatever. We're not sending it, though. We're, we're, still, we're still working towards it. You know what? Yeah, a companion baddie. Help me out. Me remembering to use my abilities. I've used Megadrin like three times on this run. That's quite good. Quite good for me. Special, more damage? No. Damage resistance up? That's probably going to be better. The crit chance up? It's, it's not enough to palm stack right now. I don't think we want to spend our money on it. It's a bad deal. Uh, Poseidon? No. I don't think so. Pomegranate? Yes. <laughs> we will take pomegranates. Very good. Uh, so these rooms, we can send it on those rooms. Little rats, easy peasy. Um, disagree. That's all I'm gonna say on that. I disagree, but you are the game dev, so you win. Just, just buy everything. We don't have a use for anything else. The money is gonna be thrown away after this. This is probably the end as well, so. Five hundred eighty. That's a good crit. That's a good crit. Ain't no eight hundred like on the last run. Dang, it's not the end. Lightning bolt. Good Dustin. Keep him staggered, keep him staggered. No movement, no movement, no chance, no moves. Power of Olympus. Really? <laughs> I guess we'll increase the special since we are spamming it out a bit. But, uh, also not the end of the run. We're going back in again. We're about to buy freaking Hermes at this point. How about another? Can't hurt. Here goes. Alright. What would Athena give me that helps out? The damage uh, reflect option? Maybe. Could be a potential option. Actually, don't know. The only thing I ever really want Athena for is just like a deflect on all four of my abilities. So beyond that, I don't know. A call? Yeah, we still need a call. Yeah, yeah, let's get a call from Athena. That would help out. Oh, thank God. Please free me from this freaking run. In the name of Hades. Uh, no call. Maybe deflect deals more damage. Just just more ability to face take? Sure, sure. If things start getting a little dicey, we have the option to get some more. Uh, we got, we've given ourselves like probably a whole 12 extra seconds of invulnerability with this and the uh, spear combined. Or the, uh, the arrow, I think is what it is. You know what I mean. And if we can, let's use uh, Megan to start off this run, maybe. That'll, that'll help out, right? Father. You'll go not one step far. Alright, we're spamming out Megarin. Let's see if she does something here. Uh oh. I guess that's fair. Now we know. That means he also knows Megan is helping me, which is not good for her. 
What shall it take for you to cease making me face you here? And like I said, because he's always attacking and whatnot, like, we apply this debuff to him, he's just hurting himself plenty. Decent. Alright, that's a pretty crisp phase one, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it would be a little bit dicier than this. Alright, we're in Senate territory. I don't think I can lose. He takes so long in between his attacks, I can actually just sit on him and force him into the next phase before the, uh... The debuff comes up that actually affects me. I like my invulnerability de uh, debuff. Yeah, and we're just sitting inside Hades. Alright, yeah, maybe... Maybe I was a little bit more uh, scared than I needed to be on this run. Regardless, thanks for watching, everybody. Another one in the books. defeated me somehow. And yet... Again, I... And yet, it takes me so long for this one to get finished. Alright. Yeah, wasn't expecting any new moon records there. That's alright. That's a-okay, brother. That's a-okay. If we didn't have to do every single room out there, maybe things would have been a, a little different, right? Just maybe. The tale of death defying Zagreus shall continue at a later time. Alright. Another run in the books. Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, etc., whenever it is for you. And I'll see you all tomorrow for the next one. Take it easy, everybody. Thank you, thank you.